Hey everybody! So, do you remember these little robots, these little wind-up robots like this? Now, I think they were popular in the 1980s, I'm guessing. Now, I always love these robots. Um, I have several of these laying around here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where the originals are. This is one of the newer ones, but I always knew these as the Rascal Robots. Some people knew them as the Pocket, let's see, what was it, Tomy Pocket Bots? And I think they're known now as the Z-Bots, but there's these neat little robots that you wind up. So let me wind this guy up. Now this one's a little bit different because as you can see his arms turn, which the originals didn't do that as far as I know. So let's get him going. Oh, let me see if he can, there we go. Look at that, I always love this little guy. And they work really good. You can see how his arms are turning. Now this one, uh, sometimes I have a little bit difficulty because his, his arms will jam up. But if you wind him up good enough, you can get a good run on him like that. Now they came in different colors as I remember. The ones I had, I wish I could find my originals, they're in storage somewhere. <laughs> I love these little guys. So the one I had, uh, ones I should say, is the body was chrome, I think the dome was blue, and I think his arms were yellow like you see here. So, um, and they came in various colors. The, the, the domes were different colors, the bodies were different colors, the arms and the legs were different colors. And then the arms didn't spin on those ones. These are the newer ones. These are ones, I think these ones are called Z-Bots now. And they have been upgraded to make the arms turn. But the reason I'm talking about these little guys is because I managed to get a hold of a larger size version of this. And here he is, the larger scale Rascal Robot. Oh, this is so cool. Now here's the original size. You can kind of see the difference in the size comparison right here. So he's quite, quite sizable compared to the original. Now you're probably wondering where I got this. Now I got this from, um, okay, there's a YouTube channel called Robot Hut. I've mentioned that channel before and it's hosted by John Rigg. John Rigg has been on YouTube for a long time and he, you think I'm a crazy robot guy? You should see him. He has got an amazing, amazing collection of robots. Um, he's been featured on different TV shows. I used to see him pop up here and there on different collector shows and stuff like that. FX The Collectibles, I remember that show back in the day. And um, he just has this incredible collection. He's got a barn full of classic tin lithograph robots and the old wind-ups and battery-operated stuff. And uh, he also has life-size replicas of the movie and TV robots as well. And then uh, lately he's been doing a lot of videos where he does repairs of vintage robots and then he makes these kind of robots here it's like a 3d printed version of different robots he designs a lot of this stuff i don't know if he um scanned the original uh rascal robot to get this because i'm not sure how he did this i'm not sure how he does all of the stuff that he does on there but this thing is so cool and as you can see it looks really good now he's added a few things on here to kind of make things work the way they did according to the original design but most most of it is exactly correct i don't know if he he scanned the head here because the head's uh details look exactly correct let me show you some close-ups of this now this one was printed in this cool translucent blue color that you can see right here. Now on John's channel, um, he did a, a complete build video of how he made these and it's, uh, I love watching him build this stuff and he did a red one. And so I asked him if he could be kind enough to make me one of these because this was my favorite wind up robot. I don't know why, I think it's because it had a different design than most robots that were wind-ups or whatever because most of those were boxy. They had a boxy head or a boxy body. This one was all round and I absolutely loved the head. Look at all the detail on his head right here. I'm trying to see if I can get a good light on here. The head looks exactly like the original and he made the eyes light up on this one. I'll turn them on and you can check out how he walks and lights up here in just a sec. There's the cool top piece right there. You can see all that detail. Look at all that chrome. He used a Molotow chrome paint which gives this beautiful uh, chrome color. I'm gonna have to get me some of that paint for some of my model kits. But you can see it turned out really good. He did a great job on it. The dome he used a, uh, it's, I think it's from a Christmas ornament. You can get like, like uh, probably Hobby Lobby or Michael's. I, th I can't remember the, the millimeters. You'll have to check out his video. He talks about all that. And then he painted up the legs. I think the legs were painted and the arms. He used the Molotow on these uh, claws as well. 
and he added a little bit of that uh, on the rivets. Beautifully done. There's a switch right there. There's all this stuff going on and there's the battery compartment which I'll show you. So this battery compartment, he designed all of this back here and it's really cool. So it's got this little knob. You turn it to the side uh, this way just a little bit and then you open it up and then that's how that opens. So that's where the batteries go. It's two AA batteries that fit in here. Um, I'm not gonna keep these batteries in here. I, these happen to be just close by, so I stuck them in there. I'm gonna put some energizers in there because I don't trust these off-brand batteries. But just wanted to show you how all of that fits in there. And this is really cool because he designed this as well. So you can kind of see how um, this slides back and forth like that. And then right here, you can see how this works. So it's got that little lock right here. So it goes into the little slots on the side here and here. So you just put this on like this and then you slide this on and it's locked in place. It works really, really good. I don't know if John's got a, uh, I don't know if he's got a, um, an education in all this computer design or something like that. He must, because I don't know how the heck you do all this stuff, but he does a really good job. All right, let me turn this on so we can check it out. Okay, so we'll turn them on now. Got a little switch right here in the front. There he goes. <laughs> Oh, uh, he moves so good. Let me bring him forward here. Now, I think they call these the claw foot. You saw those a lot on a lot of these robots back then. If I turn the lights down, you can see his eyes light up better. See how his eyes are flashing? So I like that, that John added the blinking eyes, and he showed you how to do that too. I'll show you how to hook up all the wiring inside there. I think it's so cool. <laughs> oh man. Very, very cool. I think he uses a TT motor uh, on the inside. Oh man. I love this so much. Let me turn him off real quick. Yeah, I mean, this is fantastic. Here's the two side by side. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So there we go, the Rascal Robot, or the Tomy Pocket Bot, or the Z-Bot. <laughs> All the different names that these robots have had. But it's very, very cool. I absolutely love this. It's neat to see it in a really large size like this. So if you uh, want to get the files for this, I'll put a link in John's video. John shows you how to put all of this together. He puts a red one together in that video. He did a previous video also where he had a, uh, a prototype that he was working on. I think it was gray. And you can check all of that out. He'll show you how to put all the stuff together and how it all fits. He says there's not too many parts to this, so it, it goes together pretty decent. You'll need a TT motor for the inside. Um, if you want to make the eyes light up, I mean, you don't have to, but if you want to, he'll show you how to hook those up. And then you'll probably need some paint to just paint them up a little bit. And I think that's probably about all. Oh, a switch, you'll need a switch as well. But uh, if you're uh, mechanically inclined to do all that stuff, which I am not. <laughs> um, you can definitely put one of these together. And so he'll have the link to the files to print this um, in his video. Uh, I think it's on Thingiverse, but it's really, really cool. So I want to thank John very, very much. Thank you, John, if you're watching, to uh, for making this for me, because this is one of my favorite robots when I was a kid. I used to play with these all the time, the little rascal robots, as I always called them. And uh, so it's very kind of you to let me buy that from you. So very cool. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd very much appreciate it. And until the next time, I'll see you then. So thank you again for watching and have a good one.